Hello adventure, this is my Blood Death Knight, and welcome or welcome back to the next installment of a series I'm calling Mastering the Stone. A challenge where I'm taking a fresh character from zero to Keystone Master. With limited playtime, no previous Mythic Plus score, no friends, no guild, just me pugging my way up the ladder, meeting people along the way. Let's start this week the same way we start every week, by checking our vault. Alright, give us something good, something good. Uh, I think there's no question. We're going to take these shoulders. And then we're going to convert it to tier piece. Easy peasy. We'll have a four set, finally. Week four, four set. Nice. We got to do our due diligence and grab the weeklies. Time walking and the amnesty quest. I freaking hate these, man. I just don't like doing them. And you know, maybe we won't have to next week. All I need is a helmet. And then we're going to be out of the champion gear. And I know, I know. I read the comments. I'm probably not going to get my legendary on Raid Finder, but I have to at least try. Now before we do anything else, I want to get my 4 set piece. It's just a nice strength buff. I don't think this was the best set that the community could choose, but it's the set we have. I think last, I think last season's set was pretty good, right? I don't remember. It was either season 2 or season 3. Let's crank out these time walking dungeons with a little help from movie magic. Bingo, baby. Turn it in, let's see what we get. It's, it has to be a helm. I need a helm bad. Alright, cool. Well, chest piece. That's an upgrade, at least. Oh, and I almost forgot we got some bullion to spend. Might as well grab the manic grief torch, get some more deeps in my rotation. Now, last week I said I was going to start signing up for some fours. It's time to start putting my money where my mouth is. I feel like I'm growing stronger. I think I can do it. And uh, look at that. We got accepted for a Ultimate 4. Man, I'm, my, my hands are getting sweaty. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this. I can do this, right? Well, before we find out, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. I'd like to thank Gnomely fans for sponsoring today's episode. It's summer here on Azeroth and it's getting hot. Although we don't have player housing yet, it's a good idea to be prepared and keep your keep cool. Numbly Fans has been owned and operated in the heart of New Tinkertown since the Cataclysm event. With competitive prices and a wide selection of ceiling and floor fans, there is no question on why it's Azeroth's chosen for any cooling needs. Use code BINGOBANGO for 10% off your first purchase, and thank you Numbly Fans for sponsoring today's episode. Now back to the dungeon. First pull of this dungeon, we're starting off hot. Close call here. I, I figured we were going to lust since it's a uh, ad week. I couldn't really get out of that. I backed myself into a corner. Yipes. But since we didn't lust, uh, we went right on to the second boss. We used the lust here and it was uh, no problem. I'm back onto the first boss and uh, I think these guys, I think we're in a different league now. Two's people are still learning the dungeon. Uh, by fours, hopefully everybody kind of has it down, which is nice. Poor warrior, never saw it coming. He charged right into the flame. It happens sometimes. So far, all the deaths have been on us. Uh, it's been kind of silly. Maybe we were too relaxed with uh, how we we're playing. This next clip I want to show you is... I feel like people get hung up on this skip here. The reason why you want to skip these two guys is because... They do a tremendous amount of damage of like bleed damage so in order to skip it all you have to do is get right in between the crown molding and the pillar and then just jump up like walk forward and jump up super easy no problems with the last boss we could probably have been more efficient with our puddles but we got the job done that was a little quick let's go back to the instant replay please all right, it looks like we're at 1178. After that dungeon, I spent some time getting some of the adversary quests done. I'm not gonna bore you with all that footage. We got nothing of importance from that reward. Jumping right back on the mythics with a plus four hauls and look at this warlock. He is absolutely cracked. I mean, everybody's doing a lot of damage. We got, but this warlock is doing 500K. First boss went down easy peasy. I really like this team. Man, I really like doing fours. I think I, I think I like, <laughs> I think this is my sweet spot. If I can just do fours and get KSM, I would. And then watch this. It's like they all know exactly what they're doing. The strat here is you get gulp to eat all of his little minions. That way he doesn't enrage. 
and they just nailed it. I legitimately couldn't be happier with this execution. Third boss went down really easily, now it's on to the last boss for us. But before that, I want to show you this neat little trick. As the tank crossing this bridge, if you have your back to the cauldron, you don't have to dodge the tidal waves. This way, your healer can always see you. You might get hit by a couple things, like that stun, but just mitigate it. Of course, like the rest of the dungeon, the last boss goes down super easy. We plus three it with 27 seconds to spare. A mythic rating now of 1201. We are on our way to KSM, guys. It's like I can taste it. I can taste the KSM. After the Ultiman, we jump right into a Knockhold 3. I want to show you guys something about this Lance Master. He does have a cleave, and I feel like a lot of people don't realize that, or at least a lot of the tanks I've been with. You definitely want to angle this guy away from the group. He hurts. He hurts bad, especially on higher keys. First boss went down really easily. Second boss I had a close call, but that was my bad. I'm not trolling. I should have used my anti-magic shield, but we were just so close to killing him. I just didn't bother, I guess. When we mow down bosses, is it even worth watching? Sound off in the comments, I don't know. Do you guys want to see me kill every boss or just skip the ones that we uh, have no problems with? Here, I don't know what I was doing. I, I must have been preoccupied. I completely missed the landing. I went in a completely different direction. Uh, I might have cost us the plus two here. Oopsie. My completely avoidable death paired with my 0.5% of enemy forces. Yeah, I definitely cost us the plus two. My bad guys, I'm sorry. Hopefully you made room because I have one more tip coming your way. This is a strat that my Korean friend taught me. Shout out Kamji. Sadang hey Pabo. Angle the boss to the right of this rock. That way when he charges, your teammates can stand on the marker and it will stop the boss from charging. We had a couple hiccups in the last boss and it just wasn't letting me be res down players. I don't know what was up. Maybe I was just a little too far away, but it was very annoying trying to dodge all these swirlies and try and get my teammates up. Pretty easy though. We are now at 1262. After a quick break, I was on to a plus four Azure Vault. And I think, hands down, I think this was my favorite group of the week. Everybody just really understood their class. And this next clip I'm going to show you, I thought was really funny. The priest tries to pull me, but we trigger one of the whelplings. And the amount of stuns that we do on this whelpling, just so he doesn't wake up the sleeping babies. To me, this, this part just showed like how how much people understood the class they were playing. If we were to assign which tanks are best for which dungeon bosses, I'd say Death Knight is perfect for Azure Blade. The way you can just grip those whelplings makes this, makes this fight so much easier. After the flub on percentage of the last dungeon, it feels good to nail this one. Look at these ice rings. It's perfect placement. These guys know what they're doing. It just sucks that he flew away right before we were about to kill him. What a coward. I just thought they, I should let you guys know that instead of putting a thoughtful commentary over this footage, that I went to go cuddle my cat instead. And it was nice. We're at 1336. Huzzah. And we made a friend also. The priest added us and he just so happens to be a content creator as well. I'll be leaving his link in the description. We are at the five hour mark and I have time for one more dungeon. I'm feeling spicy, so I'm setting up for a six. What can go wrong? I honestly didn't think they were gonna accept me, but they did, which is really awesome because I need a Brackenite Hollow on the board. And this dungeon went as well as you probably expected. Listen, I get it. Dustin, you're not ready for a six yet. You're not ready for a six yet. I know what you're saying in your heads and you're right, maybe I wasn't, but I don't think the rest of my team was either. I was. I was healing the little ghosties that needed to be dispelled. This was a mess. We didn't even make it to the first boss before the team just disassembled. It's okay. At least we didn't spend too much time here because I can still get one more in. I really need a Brackenhide Hollow this week. Good news is I got right into a Brackenhide 5. Bad news is I didn't record any of it. I hit the stop recording button when I thought I was recording 
and then I started recording when I wanted to stop recording. But you gotta believe me, we did it. We're on the board. And before we end this episode, just want to reflect. We had some really great dungeons. Maybe six is a little too high, but five seems like a really good spot for where we're at. It's just challenging enough. We made a new friend. I cannot wait to play with that priest again. That guy is cracked. So yeah. If you enjoyed this video for some reason, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you want to watch me play World of Warcraft live, head over to twitch.tv slash your friend Dustin. And as always, happy adventuring, love one another, and be safe out there. I'll see you next week. Bye.